Hey everybody, I'm 123JBC, how y'all doing today? Welcome back to Sly Cooper 4. In the last part, we took on Go West Young Raccoon, and we collected all the treasures and the last mask in that area. And in this episode, we're going to be doing the same thing for Clan of the Cave Raccoon. So, I will see you guys at each and every single treasure, and I'll mark them on the map to show you where, or show you guys where it is on the map and on the way back to the hideout. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Right, guys, here is the first treasure location, tre treasure, treasure location, and it's the ruby crystal. So, I just ran behind this little area to get to it. Uh, I actually don't remember Cave of the Clan Raccoon all too well. So forgive me if I stumble on the way to the hideout each and every single time. But that does it for the first one. On to the second one. Alright guys, this is the beginning area to get the second <coughs> treasure. The T-Rex skull, sorry about that. My throat is itchy right now and I have to drink some water, but not right now. Yeah, I can wait. So we uh, shoot from that arrow to this target, and then there's another thing of arrows up here, and then from here we shoot down to that one, and there's the archer, the ancestor door. And we're gonna get the T-Rex skull. I think it looks pretty dope, actually. Let's grab it and be on our way. We have 10 seconds to make it to the hideout with, which isn't that bad considering we have the thief costume and just like that we got the T-Rex skull. I'll see you guys in the next right. Alright guys, so over here there are some saber tooth dolls that we need to lunge at. Come on. And once we do, we need the thief costume to open up that door. And Sly Cooper our way. All the way. Past it. Oh, this is going to be a close one, isn't it? There we go. And we get the Grizz Lair Key. Cool beans. <laughs> I like how it's a stone, like a wheel on a twig. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Like that little detail. All right. Unfortunately, this is where I tend to mess up quite a bit because sometimes a saber tooth costume doesn't lunge on this specific costume. At least, it, at least it does for me. I don't know if anyone else has that issue. But yeah. Um, this is where I start to... Don't get it! Round two. I can't believe I died then. Actually, on the way over here, I noticed that there was a little thing over here that I could just miss the jump to. Oh, it worked. Oh no! Shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Go. There we go. 
I should still have enough time to make it though. Okay, well I got hit, damn it. And there we go. Time for the fourth one. Alright guys, in this area, <clears throat> underneath a cavern, or little cave thing, there is an archer barrel that we need to run across and shoot in order to get the next treasure. Which should be the spiked club, if I'm not mistaken. And we need the samurai outfit. Yeah, spiked club. Alright. See how fast I can make it there. Run up this bridge, and then up this one. Time for the fifth treasure. Alright, guys. Ow. The next treasure chest is over here. We got to ride a geyser. Preferably this one. Hold on. If you can do it correctly. Yeah. Nope. I don't know. Hold on. So close. Hold on, let's see if I can. Maybe. Nope. It's on top of the skeleton. And the only way to do it that I can, at least I know of, is to ride a geyser. Yeah, there we go. That should be enough. Oop. To get Slayton Commons base. Oh. Right, thief costume. And run. Where's the way up? Where's the way up? Come on, game, don't mess with me. Where's the way up? Ah, oh, it's up here. There we go. Slight and common space. Slight and common. <laughs> That's a cool name. Alright. <clears throat> Next treasure. Guys, this is the location of the sixth treasure, the Mona Lita. In order to get here, there is a cave entrance. Somewhere. I kind of took the wrong cave. Oh my god! Wrong cave entrance. I kind of took the one where the seven is, but don't worry about that at the moment. <laughs> because there's another one on the other opposite side, I just took the wrong one. Alright. Now, this is the Mona Lita. And be careful with any guards in here because there are quite a few of them. This is where the entrance is, by the way. And time to head to the hideout, wherever that is. Ah, it's this way. Perfect. There we go. It's 
time for the seventh mask. I mean, uh, not mask. Thing. <laughs> Treasure. Alright, guys, this is the entrance to the seventh treasure it's inside a cave near a penguin statue and in order to get it we need the jailbird costume along with the saber tooth costume we're having a hard time with this one too Alright, and these are the Grizz's skates. I guess that's where he was been keeping them this entire time. Right. Now remember that you can instantly switch out of a costume to replenish the meter. And that should make things a lot easier for you. So you don't have to do that extra waiting. You take this geyser, you should have a good enough boost to make it back to the hideout. Alright, time for the next treasure. Alright, guys, this is the location where the saber tooth skull is, the ninth treasure. And it's on a ledge above the icy river, so don't get fooled by the placement of where Sly was on my map. Uh, it's just faster if I run with Sly. There we go, almost there. the next treasure. This is the location of the next treasure, the cave painting. Oh, let's just make sure I have everything done. Alright. Oh, it's in the start. Oh, right next to the guy. Look at that. I got stuck on a wall. What? Alright, there we go. Oh my god, don't tell me I'm going to fail at this one too. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I just hit. <laughs> Sorry, if you can hear an echo now, I think I just ruined something on my mic. Alright. See you guys in the next treasure. Alright guys, this is the location of the next <coughs> treasure, the stone wheel. So let's make it back to the hideout as quickly as possible. Jump on this thing. Alright, let's see if this pink mushroom will help me. Sort of did. Trampoline. And hide out. Was it the 11th or the 10th? I don't remember. That was the 11. Alright, one more. See you guys near the final treasure. Alright, guys. <clears throat> this is the location of the zip line you're supposed to take in order to reach the treasure. I think I missed it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Just missed it. Sorry about that. Alright. <clears throat> this is the dino egg. And the... Crap. There we go. And the last egg... Uh, egg. Treasure. Of the level... Oh, come on. It's right over there. Out of this point. 
time for the last mask of episode 3. My mistake, guys. Back in this tunnel, there is a section of lava that I missed, this one to be precise, that we can just use the jailbird costume to roll over. And this gets us the Lutrella Nevidensis, aka Daxter. <laughs> oh. This is what I'm talking about. Like, I love the little things that Sanzaru put into this game. And it's not just that. You'll see, like, in the extras video that uh, they put in a lot of things <laughs> that I love. Like Sly's ultimate costume. Alright. Okay. And that is the seventh treasure that I accidentally missed. Sorry about that. Now, on to the last mask of this level. Alright guys, we're going to be playing Spark Runner, and this one is kind of annoying. Um, essentially, we just gotta collect all the purple things, time boosters, that is, until Bentley gets, says, geez, it's a, like a pinball machine in there. It's kind of annoying, not gonna lie. But yeah, these. Alright, and then it appears right there. Once you do that, let me see if I can finish this level first. Because my skills have improved, not really. At this game. Yeah. If I can actually beat this, that'd be pretty cool. Well, I don't know if it, there's an ending, but there should be. Alright. Let's see how well I do. Down. More down. Go around. Take a left. Up. Ah, oh, is this end? Oh, I died. Yeah! <laughs> Finally got one of these. Send a video response if you can totally beat that. <laughs> I shouldn't be that hard to beat. Alright, so on to Of Mice and Max. This should be fun. See you guys next time. <laughs>